Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Enthusiast Experiment. I'm your host, Mike, and we're going to jump right into it. Pencil edition, by the way. This one's easier to find. Boom. Oh, I love that design of this pencil. So cool. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. The Nataraj 621 NHB. And just so you know, it lasts longer. What a cool pencil. I mean, even look at that lead, isn't that, or sorry, the wood, isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? There's back to that long point. Remember we were talking about some of the things I don't like about that long point. You could see that like harpoon lead and then that dent in the wood, but that's for another video. So I do have the packaging for this one. A friend of mine was super awesome. She went to India and I asked her to bring back some pencils that she could find. And this is one of them. And I am super duper grateful. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, I have highly enjoyed them so far. Here's a quick look at the box. And these are, I guess, basic like school pencils. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty neat. So we'll set that aside. The only other thing to mention is that these do come with this. Uh, there you go. So the big point pencil sharpener, little guy here, um, super cheapy looking. Let's see if I can get that to show up. You can maybe see it on the blue blade there. It says Nataraj, maybe, there you go, kind of. Um, all plastic except for the blade, you know, and the screw there. Um, looks super duper cheapy. Wasn't expecting much. And well, when I use this, it's actually a really, really good sharpener. So that's a cool plus. And then simple. Give me a look there. There. This I have not used yet for some reason. I keep it with me, but I keep forgetting that I have it. <laughs> and never use it. So we'll set these guys aside. This definitely uh, in itself is a really great little addition because it's super duper surprising. It, it gets a really nice long point on there. So that in itself is great for the price of these pencils. All right, so let's get into it. Boom. All right. So Nataraj 61 HB. Uh, they have claims for superior HB bonded lead, which makes it darker and smoother and longer lasting. Uh, the wood, I couldn't find out what it is, but it is a special soft wood in their quotes. Uh, the body is hexagonal, red, black, white body with gold lettering, as you can see here. Red, black, white, gold lettering. Kind of reminds me of like a circus or carnival. I really like the color combination. They did a great job. Um, no ferrule, no eraser. It is in capped here with the black end and painted in the top. Uh, the price, uh, I believe that's rupees, three thirty-five for a ten pack with an eraser and a sharpener. Um, so I'm not exactly sure, you know, how that equates to in rupees, but in dollars, that's a really great price for these pencils. Um, especially if you can find a place that you don't have to pay shipping, and um, you can find them for pretty inexpensive, uh, which is awesome. And for the quality I've seen so far, it definitely worth it. Uh, and they originate out of India. Really cool. My first pencil from India, uh, and erase test. You can see did pretty well. Uh, I did use the boxy instead of the included eraser just to kind of keep all things equal, um, but I feel like that was a mistake. I probably should have used the included eraser, so I apologize, but did a pretty good job. Took the graphite right up. Smudge test did a little bit worse. You could definitely see there's some smudging there, and the shade did pretty well. You can see it gets pretty dark and it gets pretty light, so a good variance there. Pretty happy with that. Um, so some of the pros, definitely, as I mentioned already, that sharpener and the eraser included is super awesome, especially since that sharpener is really great. And it's not like an expensive, you know, accessory, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Um, but you probably won't want to lose it because it works so well. Price, definitely a pro there. Design, I love it. No barcode. Everything's great. It's a really classy looking pencil. Um, cool colorway. I dig it. At least I'm, I'm into this. Um, the wood is definitely a pro. It's easy to sharpen, sharpen and it is really, really cool looking. It just has such a unique grain to it and feel to it when you're sharpening it that it's, it's you definitely know you're doing something uh, with a pencil that's a little bit different. Uh, good smudge test for the darkness of the pencil, even though you can definitely see some smudging here for as dark as this pencil gets. I think that's pretty good. Uh, dark and decently smooth. So it's definitely a darker HB, unlike the Faber-Castell we looked at earlier. Um, but it uh, still retains 
uh, smoothness, but it's not quite as smooth as some of those Palominos and stuff that you've seen in previous videos. Uh, the point retention is pretty good though for being so dark and so smooth. Uh, it does hold a point pretty well. And if you look around at some of the other stuff that Nataraj is doing, they seem like a really fun company. They don't take themselves too seriously and they come up with a lot of like limited editions and stuff like that. So I really appreciate what they're doing. Uh, it just seems like, seems like they're doing a lot right. So that's really cool. I like to support companies that do that. Um, some of the cons, availability, at least in the USA, uh, they are a little bit harder to come by. Again, like I said, I was lucky enough to have a friend that actually went to India and brought a few back for me, so that was really sweet of them. Um, but, you know, if you were going to buy them online and stuff, you can find them, but some people will charge an arm and a leg, which they shouldn't be that expensive, but, you know, also shipping from India isn't exactly cheap. So, anyways, they're not exactly the easiest thing to find, but you can if you look. Um, quality control, so some of the pencils that I've used so far, I mean, they're definitely not like the Faber-Castell we looked at in the last video. Uh, you can even see here, like there's some paint inconsistencies. There's, you know, marks in the wood. Um, the white is really thin, so you could still see the red and the black underneath. Some of the lines aren't centered. I mean, the, the paint, you can, yeah, you can see there is like really a weird finish, but like all of this is so forgivable when this pencil is so inexpensive and so fun. I don't know how to describe it, um, at least for me. Um, yeah, considering you get so much for a price that is basically like one of one of the other pencils we've looked at. I just, it's a little bit easier to forgive. And the first pencil that I used of these, I was actually using the included sharpener and it broke the lead three or four times. So I thought the sharpener was a piece of junk uh, and I used it with a nicer, like a higher quality pencil. Uh, I think like one of the Palomino, you know, Golden Bears or something like that, and it sharpened it right away, took a point perfectly. So I pulled another Nataraj out of the box and sharpened it with the included sharpener. And it, again, did a great job. That long point really puts on a nice long point. So it's definitely not the sharpener. It was just the pencil that I used had some broken lead. And again, that's probably from traveling halfway around the world. Um, but again, this, these aren't exactly the most expensive pencils in the world. So I could see that. I uh, just wanted to mention it. Uh, so tied in with that quality control again, as we talked about broken lead and, oh yeah, so all the pencils in my box at least had a slight greasiness to them. I just wiped them down with a towel and everything's good to go, but it, they definitely had like something on them. I'm not exactly sure if it was just part of the finishing process or something like that. Just thought I'd mention it, but not a huge deal. I'm still in love with these guys. So let me set this aside. We'll get our big book out and there it is. Let's write it down here. Perfect. And you can see it's definitely darker than the Faber-Castell, but it's not like <laughs> Palomino dark. So it has a good darkness, but it's not black like some of the other pencils we've looked at. Still awesome though, I dig it. I'll set that down, set this guy down, boom. So I appreciate you swinging by. I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this channel together. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thanks.